Jumping right into this video, I'm going to put my foundation on my hand and then blend it out on my brush and stamp. This is going to give me a more even full coverage. Next, I apply my bronzer. This is from Anastasia. And I'm gonna apply it right on my cheekbone, which is a little bit higher than normal, and I'm not taking it all the way down to my lips. I'm going to get my nose like this. Trust the process. It would definitely be better to use a contour for your nose rather than bronzer, but that's all I have, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> I'm going to blend out from the smallest sections first. And then I'm switching over to my small fluffy brush and blending out my nose contour. Yes, it's bronzer, but we are using it as contour. <laughs> Next, I'm taking my concealer and I'm going to apply it about the middle of my nose and pull it out. And I'm going to use this as my under eyes. I don't want to apply it directly under my eyes because I don't want it heavy there. Down the bridge of my nose and the tip. I'm going to blend out my nose concealer with my fingers just by dabbing, I don't want to move this because I want it to stay in the shape to contour my nose. And then I'm going to switch to a fluffy brush and blend all the way down the bridge of my nose and under my eye. So the reason why you want as little products as possible under your eye is because you don't want creasing and you really do not need that much. So just blend out with a fluffy brush and that's really all you need. And I think it's looking really good so far. Look how smooth my skin looks. <laughs> and this is no filter. I'm going to brush through my brows. And then I'm gonna go in with brow ink. I wish that I could just use brow gel and that my hairs were darker and I could just get away with just gel, but I'm not that lucky. So this is just what I'm doing for now. Use your nose as a guide to figure out where your brow should start. And boom. So it's gonna look a little messy, that's okay, we're gonna fix this. 
I'm going to brush through my brows one more time just to remove any excess products. And then kind of like before, instead of going right underneath my brow, I'm going to go on my brow bone, like right underneath there. And then you need a flat brush and lend up to your brow. This is going to prevent any concealer getting in your brows, which I have done. So this is so much easier, so much better, a lot less hassle. You can take it down and blend onto your eye as well. And this will just prep for our eyeshadow later. To finish, I'm just going to switch to my fluffy brush and blend out onto my eye and any harsh lines. Now I'm going in with a cream eyeshadow. If you haven't noticed, I really love cream products. I don't really like powders, mostly because I try to avoid talc. But I do have a setting powder that is talc free, so I will use that at the end. Okay, so for my eyes, I'm only going to line the outer corner so from where the end of your pupil to the end of your eye that's it now because that was liquid liner i needed to dry so i'm going to move on to blush this is my favorite rare beauty a little goes a long ways I like to take whatever's left after blending that onto my forehead, nose, and a little on the chin just to give my face more unity and then switch to my powder brush and just blend out any harsh lines. Then I curl my lashes. So this is actually a lip liner, but I'm going to use it as eyeliner. It is purple, so it goes complementary to my eye color. And I'm going to tight line my lash line, the opposite of what I did to the top. And then this is a trick to get a wing, is to just smudge it. So you fill in that little gap in between your top and lower lashes, and then you smudge. Please do not line your waterline that is unhealthy for your eyes and if you mess up doing this much don't worry we're going to take concealer and fix this so this is how you're going to get a very easy beautiful wing i'm going to dab a little in my inner corners you can make it pointy if you want i chose not to this time and then my flat brush again and we're just going to clean up that wing super super easy look at that same with the other side looking really good so far. Really happy. Now I move on to mascara. I have some lashes coming in that I just bought that are magnetic. I cannot wait to try them, but this is what I'm doing for now. I really like to try and focus on my outer corners just to kind of extend my lashes. 
and that's done. Now I'm taking my powder, my powder brush, dust off and just lightly set. So the reason why you want powder here is because when you use your setting spray, it is gonna make your makeup last that much longer. Powder is crucial to helping your makeup last. Now I'm gonna line my lips. I'm going to overdraw just the top and then connect it to my actual lip line. So that's where I about stop and then connect it to my real lip lines. And then the middle section again here is overdrawn and then on my actual lip line towards the corners. Now that that's done, I'm going to take the other side and just fill in my lips. Almost done, I take my highlighter, go down the bridge of my nose, the tip, and then my cheekbones, and I also get my brow bone there, forehead, and chin. I do have one blemish to cover. I'm not super worried about hiding it because that'll be gone by morning with one acne patch with micro needles. So since I'm not going anywhere, I really wasn't really worried about that thing. I will just dab it just to blend out the redness of it, but I'm not really super concerned about hiding it because that's going to be gone by morning. And last but not least, I'm going to set this with my setting spray and this is the finished look. I'm going to let this dry and then I'll come back. So here's the final look all dry. I think it's very pretty and I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and yeah, definitely give it a try.